All right, folks. So in this video, what we're going to do is take a look at this radio from Radiodity. It is a GS5B, and we're going to test it for harmonics and spurious emissions. So a couple of different things that we're going to need in order to do this test. First, we're going to need to go in here into the menu, and I want to go into radio set, and I just want to check my transmission power. And here I have it set to high. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, but you probably, there you go, but you probably couldn't. The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a 40 dB attenuator because we want to take the signal from this radio and feed it into the Tiny SA Ultra. And we want to reduce that signal or attenuate it by 40 dB so we don't overload the measuring device, the Tiny SA Ultra. In order to do that, we're going to need a couple of these coax jumpers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. We're going to come right back and I'm going to have all this connected and we'll walk through it. Okay, as promised, we're back. So here's the radio feeding into the coaxial cable, which comes around and goes into my 10 watt 40 dB attenuator, which goes into the Tiny SA Ultra. Now, because this Tiny SA Ultra is a little bit difficult to read, we're going to put up in the top corner up here. Uh, no, 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 over here. I'm going to do a screen cap with my computer. And we're going to take a look at it that way. So give me a few seconds and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we have everything set up, and then you can see, I do it wrong every time, you can see the tiny SA screen over here. And so there's a couple of things that we want to do in order to make sure that we measure this accurately and correctly. So the first thing I want to do is I want to activate my menu, and then you can see that over here on the, on the screen. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go to level, and then I am going to come down to external gain. And once I pick that, I'm going to pick negative 40 times one and that's going to set this for negative 40 db because that's an attenuator that we're using so the next thing i want to do is i want to activate my menu again i want to hit back and that's going to take me to the main level or the top level of my menu and then what i'm going to do is pick measure and then i'm going to pick harmonic this is the correct way to measure harmonics now i want to pick 146.52 megahertz and what that's done is that's configured our tiny SA to measure this. And so what I want to do now is I want to key up my radio. And once this happens, because we have the tiny SA set for auto attenuation over the top of the physical attenuator that we're using, we have to give it a few seconds to sort itself out. So what I'm doing right now is I am keying it up. And then you can see we have five different peaks here. Each one of those peaks is represented in the data table above. And once this settles down, it should settle down with peak number one being right around zero uh, dB. And um, we're right around negative 3.4, which is fine. That's, that's no big deal. So when we take a look at these different peaks, we can see that peak number two or the first harmonic is at uh, negative 44. So we're OK there. We can take a look at the harmonic for marker number three, and that is negative 31.7, which means that this radio has failed and then marker number four is negative 39.6 uh, it's bouncing around a little bit 0 0.7 0 0.8 which puts that right on the border uh, the the regulation is it has to be 40 db below and uh, we got a problem and that makes this radio uh, not compliant and i hate to say that because i really like this radio well, folks, there you have it. This is the radio, and it ain't clean. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks.